Hello, everyone. This is Linda Drummond at the Worldwide Center of Network in Action. And today I have the privilege of speaking with Sharon Zip. Hi, Sharon. How's it going? Hi, Linda. It's going great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, Sharon, can you tell me a little bit about your business and what you do? Sure, sure. I am a full-time real estate agent and broker associate. I work for the broker Remax and Universal, and I assist buyers, sellers, or investors with their real estate needs. I've done this for over 23 years, by the way, so I have a lot of experience doing it. <laughs> you do? That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so Sharon, how did you get into doing real estate? Oh, it's such a funny story. I actually oh, saw an infomercial God. from a guy people might remember from the 90s called Carlton Sheets. And he was talking about no money down programs to buying real estate because I hadn't bought, you know, my first home yet. And that led one thing led to another. I bought my first home with an agent who basically kept me in the dark the whole process, didn't tell me anything that was going on, which I hated. And I thought I could do a better job than him. And I fell in love with real estate. So got my license. I got into real estate. I left my full-time career in 1999 and everyone thought I was crazy. <laughs> and the rest is history. Wow. Well, it sounds like you made the right move. I think so. I like to hope so. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So Karen, do you have um, a success story that you could share with us? Well, I like to think every transaction is a success, I will say, because every client that comes to me has a goal. And so it's always a real estate agent's job to try to reach that goal for them. But in the spirit of the exercise, <laughs> um, one of my favorite stories was when a client, um, he had, you know, his father wanted to sell his home, but it was tricky because the father was um, divorced from the wife and they hadn't spoken in a couple of years and she lived on the East coast and, you know, this was here in Houston. Um, so I had to get both parties buy-in, right? So I had the fathers, of course, because he wanted to sell, but I had to reach out to this woman I'd never spoke to before <laughs> across the country and get her on board. And the way I did that was by assuring her that, you know, in these situations, what we do is we treat each party the same and we communicate the same information to each party and you won't be left out of anything. And I won't proceed with anything unless, you know, you agree. And she got comfortable with me actually, you know, she did get comfortable pretty quickly. And we, we actually kind of became close through the transaction and she appreciated everything I did for them. But in the end, we got the home sold and she put some money in her pocket as did he, and they were both able to move on with their lives because that was kind of the last thing holding them together. So uh, yeah, so that was a big success because I made them happy. I made my client who referred me happy. So it, it all came out. That's wonderful. Yeah. So I know that for real estate agents, most anyone is a good referral for you. But do you specialize in any kind? Are you just do you do residential and commercial or just residential? Yes, so I do residential. Um, I do commercial residential too. And I'll explain that. That basically means that I do multifamily and or apartment buildings. Okay. Um, now Remax Universal, my brokerage does have very skilled commercial agents. So I could put someone in touch if they were looking to do industrial, you know, warehouse, retail, whatever. But um, I stay in my lane. I like to specialize in what I'm good at and I'm very good at residential real estate. <laughs> but because I'm an investor, I own uh, multiple um investment properties. Uh, I have done a lot with the multifamily and apartment buildings with my investor clients because I understand it. And that's rare for real estate agents. A lot of real estate agents don't understand the investment piece at all to real estate. That sounds great. Yeah. So Karen, if someone would like to reach you either for investment purposes or to buy or sell, what's a good way for them to reach you? Sure. So you can call me at 832-745-8657 or text if that's more preferable. Uh, you can email me at Sharon at SharonZib.com or you can go to my website, SharonZib.com and you can uh, look at all of my information there and there's a contact form and I can get back to you that way too. So any of the above, whatever you are most comfortable with. 
Well, it has been a pleasure speaking with you today, Sharon, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate the opportunity. Sure, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.